Hey guys, what's up? It's Steph and uh, I'm the boss of this channel and uh, it's Sydney summer, 40 degrees outside. I just try to go live on my little makeshift um, computer, little laptop and uh, iPad here and it absolutely crapped itself. So um, instead, I, uh, I just hit record locally and I'm going to, uh, I will be loading this live into the channel. So um I just had a question uh, from somebody on uh, the Facebook and um, his question was, uh, Hey Steph, do you know any really great WordPress designers that are reasonably priced? So obviously this person uh, is coming to me and he wants some advice about getting, uh, you know, what's it going to cost for a designer uh, to, to get into your business and, and help you grow and scale basically. Uh, so my uh, response is I can't tell you what a designer costs because I would never pay a designer uh, for once off fees because uh, designer and I just uh, stumped this in a coaching uh, call with an awesome client um, she was explaining how the design process works for her business and the fact that design might take four weeks uh, to to you know to to happen, you know she'll put the uh, wireframe over to her designer, and then in maybe four weeks the design will be done. And I shocked her when I said that well my design gets done in two days, and I can show you exactly how this happens. And then I walked her through it, and she was like, "Holy crap, um, this is such a better way." So, um, do you know um, you know what a what a designer costs to do a um, a website design? And so what I think is one designer might cost you, say, a thousand uh, dollar dues to to get a to get a WordPress design done, um, and and it might take four weeks to deliver. Yeah, so four weeks. So that means that your overall design, um, you know, WordPress building website entire process. It's got an extra four weeks on it because design is so slow. Um, so one designer, and I estimate it might cost $1,000 to get a design done from somebody uh, in this world and it might take four weeks to deliver. Now, what my scenario is, is that you can get a designer full time, I might add, uh, for $1,000 a month. And with a design process in place in your business, it takes two days to turn this around. So the entire cost of the entire project has now come down because it's not taking you four weeks to get this design out to the client and get it approved or changes. Um, it just takes two days. So can you imagine your process if it went from four weeks to two days? Insane. Now, the next um, piece of info that I got from this gentleman is that, well, because I said, well, why do you want someone, you know, sort of ad hoc? I mean, aren't you running a web agency? Don't, don't you need to push designs out, you know, as, as often as possible because that's what you're doing? Um, and if you want to scale, obviously having a staff member sitting in that spot um, is obviously going to be really helpful for you to scale. So let's go to chart of, you know, org chart, yes? Yeah? So um, when I first learned what the hell an org chart was, that was... Um, Mind blowing. So, so here's me, uh, and I'm going to go. This is 2011, um, pre Lady Boss hashtag. All this, what would Steph do stuff? Um, so there's me, and there's obviously design, and there's dev, and there is admin. Da, 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 da. So I was doing all of this for the first few years. And of course, a job would come in and I'd have to, you know, go and do the meeting. I'd have to do the wireframe, I'd have to do the design, um, you know, then I'd do it, get dev. I'd have to do the invoices. I'd have to follow up. I'd have to, you know, like, and I mean, my God, my process before I brought a team in was, I mean, ridiculous uh, compared to the process that I have now. Um, so that was all me. And so the first hire that I did bring on was... Uh, a designer and I really bit my lip and I thought my god this is going to be expensive um, but I think I spent a lot of time designing and um, and I think I need some freedom back so that was wow undo that little baby 
designer was the first role that I put in my business. Now, going back now that I have a, you know, a team of 10, I wouldn't be hiring a designer first. I'd be hiring a junior lady boss, but that's a whole other question um, and a whole other theory. So let's leave that on the, let's leave that to the side. Um, so if you were going to be in business and your, your dream and your vision of your business is that you are the boss, da, 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 let's just draw a, let me give you a little, little crown here and some little diamonds. If you're the boss of this business, well, I can't imagine you want to be doing this and this and this. I imagine you just want to be doing what you're best at, which might be like for me, it's podcasting, it's creating video, it's talking to you guys. Um, like that's, that's what I love doing. So that's what I want to stick at. Obviously I don't want to do these other things down here. So you need to hire someone. So how do I speed up my workflow? How do I scale my business? Um, you need to put a team in place and not just a team that you, um, that, that is all you because that's very common. Yes. Um, and it's extremely hard to break over the hundred K barrier when it's just you. Um, you need to bring more people on that you trust and that you can um, teach a process to, and they can follow a process so that things don't take you four weeks to deliver. It only takes you uh, two days. Like that's what we do. Um, yeah. So let's, let's just go over and make sure that I have um, answered this. So reiterating, um, hey, Steph, do you know any really great WordPress designers out there? Um, and no, I don't have enough work coming in to commit. So I know that, you know, paying a designer a thousand bucks um, is easy because you can go, well, there you go. It's just going to cost me a thousand bucks. Cool. Um, but literally, uh, I guess the, the big thing that I always get is, well, I don't know what I would do with a full time designer. Um, and like once you have someone on board, there is hundreds of things that you can stop doing and you can start getting your new designer to do uh, for you. Um, yeah. So I hope that um, this is valuable and I really hope that it uploads to the chat today because I'm at the, uh, I'm at my home. I'm not in the office. I am enjoying my uh, summer break and I really hope that that answers your question. I, um, I won't name you, but um, I really hope that this sort of formula makes it really clear. One designer for one project will probably cost you about a thousand bucks and it could take anywhere from four weeks. I mean, you would have to manage that person really well because they're obviously doing other jobs because they need more money, you know, for their lifestyle as well. Um, or you could do the other way, which is what I would obviously, you know, um, tell you to do is to hire someone full-time, not part-time, full-time because you want them to yourself. You don't want to just go, you know, dip your toe in and go part-time and then you and some other web sales person is, is, you know, sharing this person. You want to go all in because you want that person to know that they feel special and they're a part of your team. Um, yeah. So one designer full-time, it's probably going to cost you the same thing. And then they can do the websites, they can do your social media, they can do some EDM designs, they can do brochures. I mean, the, the list is endless and you can get out there and start scaling your business and talking to your customers because that's what you should be doing, not designing websites. Okay, um, well, that's it. I'm going to stop and I hope this was of value and I'm going to say uh, sayonara. <laughs> hey, guys, just wanted to jump in and say thanks so much for um, watching the 10 minutes uh, session there that I shared uh, inside the Facebook group first uh, and now it's sitting here on YouTube. Um, we just wanted to say thanks and if you loved it, subscribe. Just down here because I want to reach you more often and want to help you more often and I can't do that if you're kind of standing at arm's length. So come in, chat to me, um, subscribe, email me, um, grab me on Instagram, grab me on Facebook. I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty easy to, um, I'm pretty accessible. Let's put it that way. So, um, yeah, if this made an impact, 
then um, let me know. Cheers.